Welcome to this overview of Reading Sounds 1 Pro. Whether you're a parent, a teacher, or a literacy specialist, we hope you find Reading Sounds 1 Pro to be an invaluable teaching tool. My name's Bartek, and I'm the Managing Director of Reading Doctor Software and the Program Designer. I'm also a speech and language pathologist specialising in the assessment, diagnosis, and treatment of literacy difficulties. I'm currently studying a PhD at the Flinders University of South Australia. I'm interested in the relationship between speech, language, auditory processing and literacy. A few years ago I became very frustrated with the software that was available on the market claiming to help teach kids how to read. I felt that most of this software didn't reflect current literacy research and I was very frustrated by the lack of Australian software on the market. I decided to create my own software. That program is called Reading Sounds 1 Pro and it's designed to easily teach crucial literacy skills to beginning and struggling readers. Before I tell you about the program, I think it's very important to give you a brief theoretical background so that you understand the thinking that's gone into the activities and the teaching method in the program. The written representation of English is based on the sound structure in our language. English has between 40 and 45 sounds which we call phonemes. These phonemes are represented by abstract squiggles which we call letters. Individual letters or groups of letters represent sounds in the language. These letters or groups of letters which represent sounds are called graphemes. So for example, in the word chips, we have five letters C, H, I, P and S representing four sounds ch, I, P, S by four graphemes, C, H representing the sound ch, the letter I representing the sound I, the letter P representing the sound P, and the letter S representing the sound S. English has two types of words. Regular words have consistent sound symbol patterns. So for example in the word stop, every letter represents an individual sound in the word. About 80% of our words are regular in this way. Research suggests that regular words are learnt through a combination of phonological and visual skills. Phonological means to do with the sound structure in the language. Children need to form a connection between the visual representation of the sounds in the language and the sounds themselves. This skill is important because kids need to understand these relationships in order to successfully decode unfamiliar words when reading. So for example, if a child hasn't seen the word stop before but they know their letter sounds, then they can say them like this, stop, and then blend them together mentally in order to successfully decode the word. Irregular words have inconsistent sound symbol patterns, such as occurs in the word U, where the letters O and U normally say OW like in OUT. Around 20% of our words are irregular. It's more difficult to read irregular words by decoding the word. Research suggests that irregular words are learnt with a greater emphasis on visual skills. There's a greater element of visual memorization of the unusual letter patterns within the word. Research suggests that irregular word knowledge is related to reading experience. Some parts of irregular words are usually regular, so for example in the word yacht, the letter Y and the letter T make the sounds that you would expect. An overwhelming body of research suggests that learning to read involves breaking this written code for the sound structure in the language. Research suggests that poor readers have poorer decoding skills. They tend to be much poorer at understanding the relationship between the letters and letter patterns in the language and the sounds that these letters and letter patterns represent. The opposite relationship also exists. So better readers tend to be much better at their decoding ability and they have a much better understanding of the way that the letters represent the sound structure in the language. This ability to decode words seems to be very closely related to one's ability to teach oneself new words when reading. An impairment in one's ability to decode unfamiliar words when reading leads to an inability to teach oneself new words when reading. So based on this information, what are the key components of a research-based approach to teaching reading? The overwhelming body of research suggests that the most effective way of teaching children how to read involves systematic phonics instruction in which children are explicitly taught how to decode unfamiliar words when reading. This approach has been found to be most effective for both kids with and without reading difficulties. Research suggests that there are a number of key features to a research-based 
phonics approach to the teaching of reading. Firstly, children need to be taught grapheme phoneme correspondences. In other words, they need to be taught the sounds that letters and letter patterns represent in written language. Children also need to be able to blend the sounds that these letters represent together in order to be able to successfully decode words. Children also need to be able to break words apart into their separate sounds so that they can spell or encode the words when writing. Lastly, children need to be taught words that do not conform to regular sound symbol patterns so that they can recognize them instantly when reading. Thanks to years of reading research, we know how best to teach kids to read. However, reading is a complex process. It involves a lot of cognitive sub-skills and teaching foundation reading effectively is not easy. The objective of Reading Sounds 1 Pro is to provide you with a tool which makes the teaching of crucial literacy skills a lot easier. In addition to the important skill areas of letter sound knowledge, blending, segmentation and sight word recognition, Reading Sounds 1 Pro also targets other areas that have been found to be crucial in literacy acquisition. In the next video, I'll provide a guided tour of the program and show you how it can help to teach these crucial literacy acquisition skills.